mind. I don't know if he saw it with his physical eyes. Probably not. The vision, first of all, the scene before him is he sees a great ocean. And it's water that's chaotic and dark. Water usually represents chaos, or at least a large body of water. An ocean represents chaos in the Bible. And what he sees, the water's chaotic, and he sees someone stirring the water, making it even more chaotic. And the person stirring it is God himself. And then up out of the water, there start to come beasts, animals, or monsters, deformed animals. So you remember the first one is the least deformed. The first one is a lion, a great hulking lion with wings, the wings of an eagle. And we see what Daniel sees that the lion comes up out of the water is first it rules. It takes over and it rules all the land, all the earth around it. And then as he watches, the lion's wings are torn off. He doesn't say by who or by what, but its wings are ripped off. And then the lion is lifted up so that it's standing upright on its hind legs like a human being. And then the lion is given the mind of a human being. That's phenomenal. Okay, so we're going to find out, and Daniel probably already knew, that these visions, he's going to see four animals, and they represent kingdoms or kings that are going to come in the future. Actually, one that's already passed at this point when he sees the vision. They represent, in fact, the same kingdoms that have been talked about in the second chapter of Daniel, in chapter 2. In that chapter, Nebuchadnezzar had a dream and Daniel interpreted it for him. And that dream was about a giant statue. Remember this? And the head is gold and then there's some silver and bronze and iron and clay. Four different kingdoms. That was the interpretation. Those four kingdoms that were coming were Nebuchadnezzar's kingdom, the Babylonian Empire. And now this is all happening you know, uh, originally that first vision was happening in about 60, uh, 603 B.C., but now we're fast-forwarded, it's like 580 B.C. Remember, numbers go backwards when he's having the second vision, the beasts. Okay, the first kingdom was the Babylonians, then the Persians, and then the Greeks, and then the Romans. So the vision he's having now of the beasts and animals is, represents the same future as the vision he had in chapter 2. But notice this important difference. In chapter 2, you're seeing this future almost from the human perspective. Everything that the human, the human empires and kingdoms, they look beautiful. They look like a grand human king, a warrior in his glory. But from the spiritual perspective, from, the, from God's perspective now, in Daniel chapter 7, they look like beasts. They look like deformed animals. And in fact, the first one looks the best, and they're going to get worse and worse. So the first one represented Nebuchadnezzar and the Babylonians. That's the lion with the wings. And Nebuchadnezzar actually, by the end of his life, you'll remember, he became a follower of God, the one true God. His eyes were opened, and he was able to understand what's true. The lion was given the mind of a man. His wings were torn off. It was, a lot of, it was painful for him. God had to put him through a lot of suffering to get him to that place. But he was eventually given the mind of a human being. 